Hello, welcome to another Ian Creations tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to implement a binary search in Java. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start NetBeans. Um, if you were watching the last Java tutorial, you would have seen how I implemented a linear search. Um, a binary search is uh, another way of searching. It only works for ordered arrays, ordered lists, etc. It won't work for an unordered list, unlike a binary search. Uh, a linear search, sorry. So I've opened up my tutorial project. Uh, here it is, searches. Now this is the code for the linear search. A binary search for an ordered uh, array or list should be a lot quicker, a lot more efficient. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a method that will create a uh, an, an ordered array for me. So I'm going to put generate ordered array. It's been integer array. So int brackets array. Uh, sorry, array equals new int 100. It's going to be 100 items in this array, 100 elements. So for I'm going to do a for loop for int i equals zero. I is greater or less than 99. I plus plus. And it's going to be for each element. It's going to be i times 10. So Position 0 will be 0, position 1 will be 10, position 2 will be 20, etc, etc. Uh, and then return the array. Very simple. There we go. Um, I'm going to create another test uh, method. So searches dot uh, searches dot test binary search. Even though I haven't created it yet, I'll create it now. Um, yeah, so now test binary search what this will do is all it's gonna do is it's gonna output so out dot print can't type today print len and then it's gonna be binary search which is haven't created yet, I haven't created the binary search method. Um and then I'm going to give it an array. So that's going to be. Uh, I'm just going to pass in this dot generate ordered array. And say I'm going to look for 640, which, if it works, should be at position 64. Uh, so this will pass in the array that's been generated here. So now to create the binary search for, uh, method. So private. Uh, it's going to return an integer, it's going to return where it found. Uh, what we're searching for, the index, so private int binary search. It's going to have two parameters, it's going to have the array we're looking in, which is going to be an integer array, and the value we're looking for, which is going to be an integer, so to find. Now we need three main variables here. We're going to have int low, it's going to be zero to start with. Int high is going to be the array length minus one. And int mid is going to be zero to start with. Now we're going to have a while loop here. So while high is greater or equal to low, uh, mid is going to be an integer, and we're going to floor the result of low plus high divided by two. This is how binary search works. Each uh, each time you go around, it divides what it can search within by two. It's what makes it more efficient for an ordered array. Uh, so now, element is going to be what's at the current position we're looking at in the array. So now, if to find equals the element, so if we found what we're looking for, we're going to return the position we found out, which is mid. Otherwise, else if to find uh, if element, so if the value we found is greater than what we're looking for, then we know that the highest point that it can possibly be at is one below what we've just looked at because it's ordered uh, from low to high. So mid, so high will be what we've just looked at minus one. Otherwise, if um, if it's lower, if the element we've looked at is lower than what we're trying to find, then it has to be higher. 
So the lowest point can only be one, has to be one above what we just looked at. Uh, if we haven't returned it, if we're in this loop, then we're going to return minus one here, because that means we haven't found it, we haven't returned, we haven't found the value here, so therefore we're going to return minus one. Minus one means we couldn't find it. So now, uh, okay, so now I'm going to compile this and run it. It should output 64, if, if all worked well. 64, there you go. Um, so, say if we're looking for a value that wasn't in there, say a thousand, rerun it, output is minus one because a thousand isn't in there. Um, I'll try a low value, zero, should be at position zero. There we go. Just 10 should be at position one, etc. So it works. This is a binary search. It's just important to remember this will only work for an ordered array or list. Uh, yeah, so that's how we implement the binary search in Java.